another casual video in this video i'm going to discuss about the university choice as a non european person choosing a university before taking the imat is a very important decision because as a non european you're supposed to choose one university and the main requirement for you to enter medicine course is to clear the imat exam getting a rank which is less or equal to the total number of seats allotted for non european so the challenge here is the cut off for non european students vary a lot with university to university the cut off for sapienza which is in rome was around 73.4 and cut off for Cagliari which is in Sardinia islands was 56.3 for non european students so for example if there was a person who had score 65 and he had applied for for sapienza that means that he could that means that that means the university that he could get admitted was only la sapienza and as unfortunately he failed to get the cut off score he could not get into university lower than the cut off of that university the only thing that is the only thing that would make or break you getting into medicine and surgery in italy is clearing the imat which is clearing the cut off of that particular university so the most problematic situation we have here is the unpredictability of those cut offs that unpredictability happens because we are not sure about the number of applicants and how much they would score in the exam but the only constant thing that we know is the number of seats would remain the same and there are certain universities which are more highly renowned and they are in major cities and they have consistently known to have much higher cutoffs as they offer for universities in bigger cities so in general i am going to list my opinion on how to choose a university if you are confident in your preparation level I would recommend selecting a medical school based on the lifestyle of the city that you prefer rather than focusing on those international rankings. If you got selected into a university, you would be spending 6 year in the city that university is situated and you have to know how far would be the university from the center of the city, what are the opportunities that they offer, how is the whole town, what is the weather of the town, how are the people of the town uh what is the total vibe of that town before selecting a university you have to check out how the city life is for a, for a student in a city like milan and for another student who is studying in a city like naples i am not saying i'm not i'm not commenting on what is bad for a student or not but i'm just saying that milan has a specific vibe naples has a specific vibe and that kind of vibe can be searched on the internet and you would get to know a lot more about the city when you research for it also you should consider how university is planning to make you study the whole medicine and surgery course and and that thing can also be well researched if you shortlist some universities and go on to the medicine and surgery page and download the study plan for medicine and surgery course if you are unsure about your preparation and if you are looking for a university with a lower cut off i would recommend you to do this one step you should research past trend and create a list of the universities that would con that are constantly having lower cut offs as compared to other universities and you would observe one thing that those universities have either higher seat higher number of seats or either they are situated in a city which is not stereotypically renowned for having the best infrastructure in the country and or it could be both that the number of seats are a lot and the university could belong to a small city i know the whole process of applying in italy is crazy complicated i am mudit chawla a first year medical student in university of catania in italy in imat 2024 i was rank 1 in the non european listing in the no, in the non european ranking list of my university and i scored 77.9 i recently created a youtube channel in which i give information about the procedures and how to crack imat with a good score all across my instagram and my telegram my inbox is filled with people asking me about guidance related to these procedures and how i was able to achieve a good score Since then I got in touch with every Indian student who is studying medicine here and got to know about how they crack their exam how the university is and how the regional scholarship works like with that information and my own knowledge I created an affordable system on how I can provide my personal academic and non academic guidance to Indian student who are willing to apply for medicine here
Right now, me and my team are offering academic guidance, which includes one-to-one weekly call with me, where we'll discuss everything and every detail about the IMAT exam. Also, how to approach every single subtopic in every single subject with regard to the IMAT syllabus, and forming a system in which I can keep a check on your academic progress as a student, clearing every minute doubt that you have about the IMAT exam and about any subject, and Last but not the least, reminding you to focus on getting 90 out of 90 for the IMAT exam. Discussion regarding the most suitable university for you is also included in the academic guidance. Also be provided with study material, 10 mock tests and 3 grant tests with my academic guidance. Non-academic guidance include all of the paperwork which is required in the pre-enrollment process, applying for scholarship, booking the slot for IMAT and the visa process. The cost for the academic guidance is 20000 and the cost for the non-academic or documentation guidance is 40,000. And if you get both of them in total, that would cost you 50,000. If you are interested in this sort of paid guidance, you can fill the form given in the description and my team will get in touch with you. So this approach of selecting a university based on the lifestyle of the city, the things that university would be offering is much, much more better than randomly selecting university based on standardized international ranking. Also, if you are not very confident, you can just research past cutoff and make a list of some universities that are offering lower cutoffs and can select one of them based on the city lifestyle and, and the things that particular university would be offering you.